So, today is the day. Shrek the Musical is on Netflix UK. I actually end up rhyming. So today I'm going to give you plenty of reasons why you should watch Shrek the Musical if you live in the UK. But coincidentally, it's also actually on US Netflix, so technically you have no excuses. Watch Shrek the Musical, you absolute cretins. So the first reason to watch Shrek the Musical is the excellent cast. Brian Darcy James is a very, very good Shrek and his singing is amazing. Sutton Foster, the Broadway queen herself, is amazing as Fiona. Honestly, her singing and her energy is fantastic. And also Chris Sieber has an incredibly seen stealing role as Lord Farquaad. He is so funny. He's brilliant. He's amazing. He's fantastic. Another reason is the fantastic songs. Now, if you want, I've um, ranked all of the songs of Shrek the Musical up here, so you can see my full thoughts of the Shrek the Musical songs. But there are some absolutely iconic songs. Who Art Be, Morning Person, Big Bright Beautiful World. There are some amazing, amazing Shrek the Musical songs. And honestly, if you're excited to go back to the gyms, April 12th, Shrek the Musical is the soundtrack you want to be listening to. That's a James Jim guarantee. <laughs> the third reason is that in terms of being an adaption, it definitely improves on the source material. Not only if you're a fan of musical theatre, obviously this is Shrek with musical numbers, so that's going to elevate the material, but also this does something really, really important where it actually gives Shrek like a better character arc. Like it doesn't change it too much, but it does more with it, does it in more interesting ways. And overall, if anyone was to make me choose between Shrek the film or Shrek the musical, I'd choose Shrek the musical every time. Also, you may be thinking, it must actually be quite hard to adapt Shrek into a musical. They actually do a very, very convincing job. The makeup on Shrek and then Fiona, obviously, when the whole ogre thing happens, is actually very, very good. They do Donkey very convincingly, characters like Pinocchio and all of those fairy tale characters, whilst still feeling like theatre in that really lovable way. It really does work and it really brings this world to life really nicely. Also, this is for people who've seen the show recently, but this version is the original version. I think it was put on stage at about 2007, 8, 9, but more recently they've been cutting some songs, they've been changing some songs and the cuts and changes are horrendous and evil and they took out Build a Wall, which is a travesty. So now they've cut things out of the show in general as it's touring. This is the original. This has all of the great songs. This is the original Shrek the Musical masterpiece that you're now, you're not going to watch any more videos on YouTube unless they're Nerdy Brit videos because you're going to go over to Netflix and watch Shrek the Musical and then they're going to do Broadway revivals and West End revivals just because of this video because that's how well known I am. If you like Shrek the Musical content, there probably won't be much more of it, but if you'd like to subscribe for more Broadway and musical theatre stuff, subscribe and like and comment and share and repost and... I'm running out of more verbs, goodbye. This is Will and E, and if you're not already subscribed to the Nerdy Brit, right, you should be, right? If you're not, you're a loser too. Gonna build me a wall and make it ten feet high. Does Donkey sing that one?